Hello folks, this is Kenny with Just the Right Angle. I am having to do a recording for my 1235 Wednesday broadcast for Wednesday, December 20th. You can check me out at Just the Right Angle on Rumble. I'll also post this on my Facebook page and on Parlor while I'm doing a recording. Uh, several things to talk about. One, of course, is the illegal immigration issue. This is just a broadcast from Fox News. I normally play this on screen, but uh, you could just listen in on this. What's happening down there in Eagle Pass, Texas, okay? Border agents there are calling this the worst they've ever seen in terms of migrants coming across. And these these, these images are just incredible. You'll remember the people trying to get on the train last week. The people that got on the train, that's who those people are right now that are sitting outside Eagle Pass waiting to get processed. The Border Patrol is completely overwhelmed, and they say they are 260% over capacity at this point, and that's before all of these others come through. So, Dan, they were at 260% capacity before uh, another, another wave. So what's happening is the third world countries are dumping their poor. Uh, they are from all over the world. Uh, terror sponsoring nations, uh, the communist regime, uh, dictatorship of China, they are taking their poor, they are shipping them to the Mexican border or Central America, and then they are coming up uh, across the open border. And when they come across the border, they are then get, uh, given all kinds of government handouts, they're being put in five-star hotels, veterans are being kicked out of shelters, uh, and it's happening all across the, the nation. Uh, here in Arkansas, North Little Rock, we have a some kind of uh, we have a ID system that's designed supposedly to help the homeless, but it's really for illegals. It's done by a, a Hispanic organization, and they won't come out and say it. But if your city has some kind of uh, ID system that's designed to help what they call uh, undocumented or the homeless, it's really for illegals, and it's to get them on the government rolls. <clears throat> and I, I've actually documented this for years. I have a video on my YouTube page of illegal aliens uh, getting on a bus from, oh, wow, that was, I think, 2019. It was from years ago. Uh, you can you can actually see that. I put it on my Keep Arkansas Illegal page, but I've also put it on my Rumble page as well. It's called uh, Little Rock Illegal Aliens Bus. And it's one of, it was one of my more popular videos at the time that I filmed it. Now, I think this was before YouTube put a, a shadow ban to me where they, they cut off most of my subscribers. But you can go there and see where these illegals are being bussed. The, really what needs to be done is the busing system on the border needs to be shut down. Because that's all it's for now at this point. And it, it just needs the, uh, the whole... Yeah, you know, that whole system needs to be shut down. The bridges need to be shut down. The whole uh, that apparatus just needs to be, you know, completely blocked. And by the way, these people are carrying disease. They are uh, some of them could be terrorists, and uh, there will be an increase of crime wherever these illegals are are placed. And it's just, um, it's a disaster. It is a disaster being, it's one of many things done by the Uniparty, by Democrats and Republicans as a deliberate effort to destroy the United States of America. Uh, that's what it's there for. That's why they're doing it. That's why it's being done on an industrial scale. Same thing with the fentanyl outbreak. The fentanyl is made uh, in, in China. It's then brought over to Mexico where it's processed in massive factories that could easily be and should be bombed. Forget Ukraine. Those are the, that's where we need the war to be done um, is the human trafficking and drug trafficking systems in, in Mexico. But, of course, our government won't do that because they hate America. And they want Americans to, to die of fentanyl. They want them to be overwhelmed with uh, third world problems, disease, crime. Uh, uh, and abject poverty. That's what they want for America. And, and I'm talking about the, the, all of the Democrat Party and a large part of the Republican Party want this. Um, this is this, and this problem is is going to keep getting worse and worse until we start a 
kicking out uh, rhinos like Ronna McDaniel. And on our Arkansas level, we have a guy named Steve Womack who's been a consistent uniparty vote. There's a primary opponent for him, like Clint Pinzo, who has an excellent record of, of fighting for conservative values. And he is up in Arkansas, I think, U.S. House District. I believe it's three. I know it's not the first or the second. And I don't think it's the fourth. It's, um, but it's Clint. Maybe type in Clint Pinzo for Congress to be able to find him. Uh, another big thing that happened, I think this was yesterday that this actually happened, but it's something talked about, is the state of Colorado is trying to keep Donald Trump off of the ballot to be voted on the whole state. The all uh, the Democrat controlled uh, court system there, I believe it's the Colorado Supreme Court, made a motion to to keep Donald Trump's name off of the ballot, which means if you go to vote uh, in that state in the Republican primary, and their and their ruling stands, then your vote will not count. Uh, oh, and by the way, if you try to write in Donald Trump, it won't matter as well. It'll still be disqualified. Yeah, it's the Supreme Court of Colorado and the Democrat Party there. And they've just cheated democracy. And what's also trending on, on Twitter as of now, or X as you want to call it, is civil war. And one of the reasons it's trending is when you take away the people's ability to vote and you basically take away the law, well, you end up, that's the kind of scenario where you could end up with a civil war because people realize there's no, there's no civil way to, to handle things. Um, and while a lot of leftists are cheering, remember, this, is, this by the way, affects the primary election. Um, this is something that will, uh, it's just going to, it's going to be immediately appealed to the U S Supreme court and it's likely the U S Supreme court will overturn them. But this is one of the problems I've also had with the Republican Party is they refuse to go after these court systems. By the way, Republican, uh, well, the legislature has the power of the purse. They can defund a court system. They, you can also nullify a, a court ruling by simply refusing to enforce uh, an unconstitutional act. There's many examples of this. So there was a national effect to put a national ID several years ago, and several states nullified that. Um, I, I, I saw a video uh, yesterday, just at random, about how one of the popes in the 12th century banned the crossbows because they were supposedly evil. Um, and the reality is the crossbow allowed a person who may not have been of nobility in, in order to, uh, you know, and have the, the money and political pull to be a knight to be able to kill someone who did have a uh, political sway. So it, it was a slightly in a way of an equalizer. Uh, uh, and of course, what happened is a lot of these armies just ignored the, the, the papal ruling regarding crossbows, and they used them anyway because they saw how effective they were. And that's a, you know, when you hear about a gun ban, just know that's the real, in the end, that's the actual reason. It has nothing to do with, with protecting people. Uh, it's all about uh, trying to keep the, the politically um, elite protected or the criminals that the political elite use to ruin people's lives and enslave people protected. That's really what it's about when when you hear about a gun ban. But anyway, the this is about the issue of civil war, and I did not know this, but I saw this uh, posted on Twitter, and then I've looked it up. Uh, this is from Command Center, uh, PatriotCommandCenter.org, and they're another conservative group. Patriot Tea Party MAGA, and there's uh, 10 Democrat-controlled states refused to put Abraham Lincoln on the presidential ballots. This was, I believe, in the election of 1860. Now, by the way, Abraham Lincoln still won the election because the issue that he had been talking about, slavery, was such a you know divisive issue. But this is before the Civil War. And matter of fact, the Civil War began not long after this. 
uh, because, and of course, there's a lot of other factors. The Dred Scott case, another uh, court case done, which, which told people, you know, you're not going to get your freedom in the court system. You know, lots of other things that, that you know, showed that there was just no way to end that issue regarding whether a state could define someone as property. And there were other factors besides slavery in the Civil War. And, and Abraham Lincoln wasn't a perfect angel either. There was a lot of things he did that were wrong. There's a lot of, you know, evils regarding the Civil War. Um, that's a whole other story. But the point is, is this is a sign uh, when, when cowardly leaders find a way to keep their opponents off the ballot, that's when you start having, uh, you know, a, a, a collapse in, in civilization. This is, as someone else posts on Twitter, this is the kind of things you see in third world countries. Um, in addition to, you know, fraudulent elections where, you know, some counties are get you know, some places will get 102% of the voter turnout and it's all for one candidate. We've seen that here in America, too. And by the way, uh, electronic voting machines are 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 an, a way to commit voter fraud. They are designed and put in place through means of corruption. Uh, always request a paper ballot, um, and do make every effort to get rid of electronic voting machines because they can be programmed. It doesn't matter how many audits are done; uh, they can be audited a thousand times on election day. They can be reprogrammed, or their results can be changed. Uh, mid uh, when they transmit their results to the Secretary of State. So, yeah. Do make every effort to get rid of electronic voting machines. Here in Arkansas, there's a group called Arkansas Voter Integrity Initiative. They are trying to get on the ballot a ability to uh, go to paper ballots. It is being blocked by the Arkansas Attorney General, who's also blocking the Arkansas FOIA uh, Protection Initiative. And uh, it's there's in order for a ballot initiative to be put under Arkansas law or Arkansas Constitution, they have to gather signatures, turn them in by I believe it's July fifth. Uh, but because of the efforts by the Attorney General or his staff, he claims that he doesn't look at the ballot initiative and that his staff handles it and that it's handed to him, and uh, so he claims he has no say. But of course, all he has to do is instruct his staff to find an excuse to not put a ballot initiative. Uh, and, and waste as much time possible doing so. And when he does that sort of thing, well, it takes away up to 30 days for the people to gather signatures and put on the ballot. Or he can just make excuses to block it and it has to go before the court system. So that drama is happening. Uh, I believe uh, Tim Griffin, uh, again, yesterday rejected the one regarding FOIA. I'm not sure the status of the paper ballots. In any event, uh, that's what's going on in the nation do make every effort to uh, fight for freedom on a peaceful level. Uh, show up at events. I know right now Christmas holidays going up, but in January you're going to start seeing you know board meetings, city council meetings. I know there's an an issue going on in Jonesboro regarding Rachel Anderson. If you go to neareport.com, uh, apparently this woman spoke up at a uh, some kind of city hearing. She was fired from her job. But she did manage to stop what looked like some kind of corrupt deal um, regarding the mayor. <clears throat> and now there's a big fight going on regarding this. But if you go to NEA report, you can see the, the details regarding that. If you want to see more about what's going on regarding or some of Tim Griffin's excuses for blocking ballot initiatives, you can go to Conduit News. They just did an interview with him. Um and on there, they do a lot of r r great reporting on what's going on. Um, also, I don't know what's going on regarding the Buffalo River. Uh, that's That group called Secure Arkansas is handling that. Uh, the effort to fight against crypto mining. I think another state legislature has, has said they want a special session to uh, fight on that issue. There's a group called uh, Secure Arkansas that, again, has been fighting on those issues. Other than that... Y'all have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and since this is the last broadcast before Christmas, y'all have a Merry Christmas. That's it.